first point of call this morning the water points let's get some of that lovely liquidy stuff in the boat Well, I'm now all filled up with water. Everything's now all put away. I'm now going to operate the swing bridge before I move off, so I can move straight through. Then, of course, I'll close up behind me. done, time to get moving. Morning. As I make the turn here going around uh, Bradley Junction, I did toy with the idea of going down that lock there and heading on down through Burton upon Trent and on down towards Shardlow, to Shardlow, and turning around and coming back up before I headed up north. But I decided I didn't really want to go down all those locks, turn around and come back and uh, I've spent rather a long time in Birmingham. I've got a little bit behind this year, and I'd like to plan to be up on some of the canals I've never been on before uh, by the end of spring, or while the spring is going on. So I'm going north.
Well, it's the 31st of March today, and yes, it is snowing. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but um, yes, it's currently snowing at the moment. Lovely, eh? Hey? I'm not going anywhere in it. Good morning, everyone. Well, I'm moored here at Hans Acre, just short of Armitage. Not in the regular mooring spots where most people moor up by the Crown Pub. I've come around the corner a little bit and I'm moored here. It's absolutely gorgeous here. Lovely towpath, lovely wide towpath. Absolutely brilliant for a few days. We had that, well, we we're supposed to get all that real bad weather, which we really didn't get. It's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous sunny morning this morning. A little bit chilly. I'm going to make a move now onto Rugeley. It's not far, it's probably going to take me about an hour or less. So let's make a move and go to Rugeley. One thing a little uh, unusual here, it's got this, um, what is that, the arm coat, it's got the shutter in or whatever it's called, all the way down the side here. And ever so often, they have these metal bars. Well, you can drop a nappy pin around them, and they actually hold on quite well. I've been moored here for three days, and it stayed there. It's now moving around a bit because I've actually undone the front of the boat. But uh, yeah, it works quite well. You put the rope through double, if it does actually come off, you're never going to lose your nappy pin. It's still going to be through the rope. Easy just to just run hook it, just drop it off look and lift it straight out. Just like that. So here we go. walk all the way underneath the canal there's a little footway a little bit narrow a little bit tight a little bit low i didn't actually do it but um you can see lots of people have from where i was moored you can just walk down to this bridge that takes you straight into the village i'm actually going to go down to armitage and i'm going to stop for a few minutes i'm going to walk, actually walk up to the fish and tackle shop this rail bridge here if you actually look on some of the books and some of the maps it's actually called the Armitage Tunnel. It's uh, really a bridge to me, but uh, I guess it's a little bit longer than some bridges. So yes, it's listed as Armitage Tunnel. I have shown you this building before. This is the Armitage Shanks building, or whatever it's called these days. I think they've been taken over and it's under a different name. It's where all your toilets, etc. are made, all your porcelain for your bathrooms. As you can see, there's a sign that says local facilities through alleyway. And there is the, the alleyway. Well, we're going to stop here and go and use them. Right, I made my little trip up through the alleyway. I went up to the fish and tackle shop. I decided to get a few maggots. So if I fish, got some maggots as bait. Now I have the fridge and the freezer working properly on the boat. I will just throw them in the freezer and use them as dead maggots. Dead maggots work just as well as live ones for most fish. So onwards I go now towards Rugeley. Well, as we come up past the uh, plum pudding here, quite a well-known pub to boaters alike. I believe they do very good food. Never been in there. Unfortunately, I found a boat in front of me. So we've got the narrow section just coming up. 
hopefully they're going to go and send someone through and check it's all clear so I will follow them through they caught me up and overtook me when I stopped and picked up some firewood so that was good that I actually stopped for firewood because I didn't know there was a boat behind me so having a boat in front of me is a definite advantage right now I don't know if you can quite see that but they've just dropped somebody off who's going to check see if it's all clear and I'm just uh, coming very slowly up behind them they've just been waved on through <laughs> so it's all good for me so here we go I have uh, put this in a video before this was once a tunnel up through here that's uh, why it's so narrow uh, now it's uh, like a big bridge yeah it was a tunnel and it collapsed I believe and now we just got a very narrow cutting so that's the narrow section done time to get on to Rugeley too much but if you like me I like fishing as well I am well the boat I was following left me standing up past these moored boats I guess they don't go quite as slow as I do past moored boats I, uh, I like to go slow as I like people going past me it takes me an extra five minutes, it takes me an extra five minutes. I really don't care. One thing I'm never is in a hurry. You don't buy a narrow boat to be in a hurry. Do I be in a hurry? Buy a camper van. But watch out for lions and tigers on the towpath. Oh look, there's one right now. this pub a couple of times before there was always a very well manicured garden today the grass looks a bit tatty there's no name now on that board I, though I can see lights on inside the building it doesn't look its usual standard so you know it's just changed ownership or it's uh, not open at the moment there used to always be loads of people in the garden, no matter what time of the year you passed. Nice to see a coot on the canal.
Well, I didn't actually film myself arriving at the mooring in Rugeley. The reason this was, just as I was going to moor up, we had hailstones, rain, sleet, snow, everything was thrown at me in a few moments there as I was tying the boat up. So I've wasted a while to actually do this outro. I arrived at Rugeley, there were plenty of moorings there, so I had basically the pick of the moorings. There was only two other boats moored there when I got there, and there's probably room for, I don't know, a dozen boats along there, I'm guessing. So that was good. The other thing was, when I got the Rugeley, I managed to go and purchase myself some new hair clippers, because my other ones broke. So, yes, I've had a haircut as well, look. Leave the hat on now just to keep my head warm. Well, that brings me to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed that. It was a lovely little trip coming up the Trent Mersey Canal there to Rugeley. Of course, I want to thank all my Patreon and PayPal supporters, everyone for watching, and everybody for subscribing. And don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that old bell notification button. That way, YouTube will inform you every time I upload a new video. Well, that just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor out.